everybody, it's Paper Dinos, and this is the How Well Do I Know My Mom tag. Now, uh, today is Mother's Day. Today, this day when I am filming this, it'll come out the day after Mother's Day, but hey, it's the sentiment that counts. I love my mom, and I don't get to see her all that often because I don't really live at home most of the time anymore. Uh, so I wanted to do something cool and something fun to say, hey, mom, happy Mother's Day, stuff like that. So this is the How Well Do I Know My Mom tag. What makes your mom happy? Oh, so many things make my mom happy. Uh, one thing that I know like really makes her happy is when all of us are home. Uh, me, all my brothers, my dad, and, uh, and her of course. Uh, we can all like sit down and have dinner together, you know, full seats, a uh, big happy family. Uh, like we used to. But she also likes things like reading out on the back porch, uh, and she likes the beach and she loves uh, traveling with my dad and going on adventures and being with family and friends and good people with good food. Gosh, so many things make her happy. She also really likes roosters, particularly as decor in the kitchen. How old is your mom? My mom, this past February, recently turned 29 and I can't wait until next February when she turns 29 again. How tall is your mom? Definitely as tall as me. Same exact height, maybe a little taller. Same height. What is your mom's favorite thing to do? Ah, uh, like I said, I know she really likes reading. She really likes reading uh, out on the back porch in particular. You know, when, uh, when it's nice and warm out, but not sun like directly on the porch, and she'll sit with her feet up, and the dog will be laying next to her. Or uh, she'll, if we ever like get the chance to go to the beach or something, she'll sit and she'll read there on the beach with her feet in the sand. Uh, and recently she's been traveling a lot with my dad because, you know, their kids are all off of college and stuff, we're almost there, so they're traveling the world and stuff, and it's really cool. What does your mom do when you're not around? Well, okay, so, like I said, I don't really live at home that often anymore, so she, this is really, like, she just does everything when I'm not around, <laughs> for the most part. Um, but it does bring to mind something that happened when me and my brothers were kids and she, back before she started working and she was more stay-at-home kind of mom, uh, you know, raising them old rascals. But I remember, I don't remember who it was or what we were asking, but it was probably something about like, when did this household chore get done or something like that. And my mom was just like, I did it! What do you think, I sit at home all day eating Oreos? And I just very vividly remember her saying that, like, exact response. She probably doesn't remember saying it, but I've remembered that for years, and I don't know why. What is your mom really good at? My mom is so good at planning, like, parties and events because she's, like, as a person, I love her so much and she is a lot. Uh, and that really like comes out when there's like parties or events to plan because she just does the most TM. She does so much and she gets so excited and super into it. Uh, like nothing is like a small event, even if it's like a low key thing, everything will be like set up perfectly in the living room or the dining or like wherever. Uh, there will be like great food, everything will be planned, we'll, she'll have all these fun ideas for like activities or different things to do because everything is planned so much, she gets so into it. What do you and your mom do together? Oh my god, whenever I'm home, I always go grocery shopping with my mom because I love grocery shopping and she knows I love grocery shopping. I always, like, when we were kids, me and my brothers, she used to take us with her grocery shopping because, like, we were too small, we couldn't stay home by ourselves or anything. But then, like, as we got older, she kept asking us if we wanted to go grocery shopping and the boys started saying, like, no, I don't want to go grocery shopping. And I was always like, yes, take me with you. And so anytime I'm home, she tells me where she's going grocery shopping and we always go together, we always do that together. Uh, or she was part of uh, this thing called Dream Dinners. She'd always take me with her when I was home to do it, and it was just like a fun thing that we did together. I really liked it, and I really loved going grocery shopping with her. How do you know your mom loves you? She never stops fucking telling me? Hello? But beyond the obvious, she always sends me a package on Halloween and Valentine's Day. She sends me a care package with like holiday themed stuff. Or, like my school does these like final exam survival kits. Uh, at the, every finals season, at the end of each semester, and she always sends me one. Actually, Jesus! They've always got this card in it, this little block, the tassels with the hassle card, and she has like a handwritten note on the inside. I've got so many of these all hanging in a row. 
And then uh, whenever I do get the chance to be home, she always comes and knocks on my door to say goodnight before she goes to bed. Like, it, it really means a lot to me that she does those things. Uh, it really uh, just reminds me that there's uh, a lot of people who care about me back home and people who want to see me succeed. So anyway, that's the mom tag for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Not a couple weeks, like a week and a half, maybe, hopefully, um, I'll get to see you then. But I miss you, I love you, happy Mother's Day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, be sure to show that like button some love and share it with your friends. Be sure to call your mom and tell her how much you love her and how important she is to you. I'll see y'all later. Bye.